The Oscars. It's the most celebrated award show in all of Hollyweird. The multiple hour event is a star studded affair that brings together all of the top names in show business. However, some celebrities despise this night and the award shows altogether, even when they're the recipient for the award. What's going on film fanatics and welcome to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. I'm your host Johnny Rogers and if you happen to be new here, we cover all things television, movies, YouTube and well, anything beyond the screen. So hit that subscribe button to join our notification squad and make sure you stick around till the end because that's when I'll be reading out some of your comments. Plus leave me a comment down below with which actor you think deserves to win an Oscar this year and while you ponder that, let's jump right into the top 10 celebrities who refuse their Oscars. In at number 10, Roman Polanski. And the Oscar goes to Roman Polanski for the pianist. Back in 2003, Roman Polanski had won the Oscar for directing The Pianist. However, due to him not showing up, Harrison Ford had to not only present the award, but accept it on his behalf. It's amazing that Polanski was still even considered at all for this category. After pleading guilty to having an unlawful relationship with an underage woman, he fled the US before he could be sentenced. So his status of refusal to accept the award probably came from the fact that he legally cannot be in the United States or else face jail time. He's like, no, but I'm good. We're sure that's why you're good. In at number nine, Woody Allen. The, the Academy congratulates Woody Allen and accepts this award on his behalf. Thank you. Woody Allen has won a total of four Oscars, but has only attended the event once. That clip was from 1978, where Allen won the Oscar for directing Annie Hall. But due to his refusal to accept, they had to accept it on his behalf. The only time that Woody Allen touched the stage at the Oscars was in 2002. It was less than six months following the attacks of September 11th, and Allen wanted to tell the audience that the Big Apple was still a wonderful place to make movies. After the awards, Allen said, I have no regard for that kind of ceremony. I just don't think they know what they're doing. When you see who wins those things or who doesn't win them, you can see how meaningless this Oscar thing is. Well said, Woody, well said. You creep. <laughs> In at number eight, Paul Newman. Ladies and gentlemen, accepting the award for Paul Newman, the president of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, Mr. Robert Wise. Yeah. Paul Newman had a very understandable beef with the Academy after being nominated for the award of Best Actor six times and never winning. Yet year after year, Paul showed up because he was nominated and patiently waited again and again for his big win. By 1987, Newman had two honorary Oscars and six nominations to his name before finally winning for his role in The Color of Money. Although the one time that Paul actually won, he didn't show up. Later he told the Associated Press, it's like chasing a beautiful woman for 80 years. Finally she relents and you say, I'm terribly sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> I love these statements like, damn, again, I'll say it. Well said, Paul, well said. In at number seven, Banksy. Here are the nominees for best documentary feature. Exit through the gift shop, Banksy and Jamie DeCruz. For those of you who don't know who Banksy is, he's an anonymous British street artist that is known around the world for his sometimes very political pieces. He's done everything from graffiti to full exhibits showcasing his work. A film was even made about him in 2010 called Exit Through the Gift Shop. It was a documentary that followed around some of the top street artists as they went through their process and tried to avoid the authorities while doing so. Banksy, being the anonymous character that he is, did appear in the film, but his face was hidden and his voice was altered to protect his identity. When the film was nominated for an Oscar, Banksy agreed to attend with his only request being that they do not reveal his identity. Well, the Academy did not see the value in that and refused to accommodate his request. So instead of showing up to the Oscars, Banksy did what he does best. A couple days before the event, this mural suddenly appeared in Los Angeles. The mural equates the Hollywood elite to the galactic empire from Star Wars. And I just love the stormtroopers working the cameras while the Oscar statue is altered to appear in the image of a true artist. More specifically, a Banksy. In at number six, Eminem. Goes to. Woo! The Oscar goes to Eminem, Jeff Bass, and Luis Resto. Yourself. In 2003, the category for best original song was jam-packed with big contenders. Eminem's Lose Yourself from the movie 8 Mile was against Burn It Blue from Frida, Father and Daughter from the Wild Thornberrys movie, The Hands That Built America from Gangs of New York, which had Bono writing on it, and I Move On from the movie Chicago. All of these had amazing musicians behind each track, to the point where even Eminem himself didn't think that he was going to win. Eminem thought the Oscars
Oscars were just for actors. So number one, he thought, why would I win this? And number two, he thought, why would I show up for that? In an interview later on, he was asked about that night and Marshall admitted that he was actually asleep when he won the Oscar. Instead, his co-writer Luis Resto had to accept the award on his behalf. And at number five, Jean-Luc Godard. As you know, the master, unfortunately, can be with us here tonight. For those of you who don't know who Jean-Luc Godard is, he's a very talented filmmaker from Switzerland that has been creating since 1950. In his early days as a film critic, Godard took aim at the way that mainstream French cinema had a tradition of quality, instead of focusing on innovation and experimentation. In late 2010, the Academy wanted to give Godard an honorary Oscar, although there was a slight issue. Jean-Luc never answered their calls. And when asked during an interview what this honorary award meant to him, Godard said, nothing. If the Academy likes to do do it, let them do it. But I think it's strange. I asked myself, which of my films have they seen? Did they actually know my films? And later on during that same interview, he was asked why he never attended and to that, Godard said that he doesn't have a visa to fly into the US, nor does he want to apply for one, adding, and I don't want to fly for that long. Fair enough, Jean-Luc, fair enough. In at number four, Katherine Hepburn. There is Katherine Hepburn and Gordon Conn. how I love that awkward moment during all of these Oscar win announcements where the presenter says the person's name and then there's no movement and now they just have to awkwardly stand there as someone else comes up to accept it. Hepburn has hated the Oscars for most of her career. She has been nominated for 12 Oscars and won four of those, although every time she has chosen to avoid the night altogether. The only time that she decided to attend was in 1974. Catherine had been asked to present producer Lawrence Weingarten with a Fallberg Award. And during the ceremony though, Catherine said, I'm very happy that I didn't hear anyone call out, it's about time. I am living proof that a person can wait 41 years to be unselfish. I mean, you gotta give it up to this strong leading lady for that kind of commitment as well. In at number three, Dudley Nichols. Unfortunately, I wish we could have some sort of clip for Dudley like we did with everyone else, but the reality is Dudley is the OG of refusing Oscars. In fact, in 1935, he was the very first person to ever refuse the award. Dudley had won best screenplay for the film The Informer, a film about the Irish War of Independence. His reason for boycotting the event was over an ongoing dispute that Dudley had with the Academy and the Writers Guild. The LA Times even recorded that he tried to give back his award, like he was returning a pair of jeans. Eventually, he was able to return the award and with it he attached a note. The note said, it would be to turn my back on nearly a thousand members who ventured everything in the long drawn out fight for a genuine writer's organization. I mean, how powerful is that? Like, you remember when people used to stand for something? You go Dudley, you go. In at number two, George C. Scott. Oh my god. The winner is George C. Scott. <laughs> Accepting the cover. Much like Dudley, George had a real problem with the Academy and the way they operated. In 1961, he received a nomination for Best Supporting Actor, but he told the Academy that he didn't want it. Furthermore, he told them that he disagreed on the principle of the award. George thought that the Oscars were simply a competition that pitted fellow actors against each other. Because of this controversy with the Academy, George would not be nominated again until 1971. However, the first year that they had him back in the nominations, this time it was for the Best Actor category, and sure enough, he won. And not only did he refuse to accept the award or any of the nominations before that, he didn't show up at all. He went on again to insult the ceremony further, calling it, and I quote, a two hour meat parade, a public display with contrived suspense for economic reasons. Powerful George C. Scott. I love that he decided to just dig his heels in further with his stance against the Oscars. Last but not least in our number one spot, Marlon Brando. Hello, my name is Sasheen Littlefeather. I'm Apache. Marlon Brando truly is the godfather. Not only does he not show up to accept his award, but instead he sent a Native American woman to refuse it for him. You can see in the clip that the presenter extends the statue out to her and she just holds up her hand like, I'm good, I'm good chief, I'm good. And the woman said that her name was Sasheen Littlefeather. And at the time, she was a little known actress and president of the National Native American Affirmative Image Committee. Brando believed that the Native American image had been completely disrespected by the film industry. So his reason for refusing the award was due 
to the treatment of American Indians. But the crowd could not accept that. Midway through Little Feather's speech, the celebrity audience members started booing her, and then later on making very, very crude comments towards her. Yet regardless of what they thought, this speech remains as one of the most powerful moments in Oscar history. Now with that, let's check out some of your comments from the video titled Top 10 Actors Who Lost Everything. UK Crazy says, I want Brendan Fraser to make a comeback. I love that dude. His story saddens me. I gotta go watch Blast from the Past. Great list, Bacon Overlord. His story is very sad, and he was an incredible actor. Definitely, definitely deserves a comeback. Beezer1225 says, The Bacon Overlord on Beyond? I'm speechless. Stay classy, man. Beezer, so happy to see my fans from Inform Overload coming over to Beyond the Screen. The Bacon Overlord is just spilling grease everywhere. Watch out. Everyone else is gonna be so confused by that comment. You guys get it though, you guys get it. Maria Bella says, I love this channel, I want a shout out, that would be so so cool, my B-Day is soon. There's your shout out and I hope you have a great birthday. Kristen Owen says, yay, happy to see you here, you're my fave. Aw, thank you Kristen, that's very sweet of you, I'll be here to help out Lucy and Joss for a little bit, so get used to seeing this ugly mug. Sid Savage says, Devin Frazier, he's so cute and sweet, please shout me out Johnny. Sid, there's your shout out and I'm sure Brendan Frazier appreciates the love. And that has been the top 10 celebrities who refuse their Oscars, thank you for watching Top 10 Beyond the Screen. If you enjoyed this video, then show us some love here by tapping that like and subscribe button. Also, make sure you give us a follow on Instagram for tons of behind the scenes content. Links for that will be in the description below. And while you're there, why don't you leave us a comment with your thoughts on this list. Plus, for more videos like this one, all you can do is tap that playlist when it comes up on your screen. From beyond the screen, my name is Johnny Rogers. Until next time, stay classy. The Oscars. It's the most celebrated award show in all of Hollyweird. The multiple hour, the multiple hour event is a star 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 there's already your first blipper. <laughs> it was less than six months following the attacks of step. <laughs>